Well, and in addition to running for the championship, some of these guys are auditioning. There's still seats available on the cup side, whether they're by rides or, or what have you. And I would, you know, at this point go mostly for by rides. But a lot of these guys want to get their names on the radar for the cup teams that are looking to hire because ultimately that's their goal. And so if you run well in the playoffs, you know, if you advance, if you sh- can show consistency, playing well with others and um, the end game, then you have to be considered, you know, one of the candidates for rides. And, you know, I, I'm looking from like Sammy Smith on up. You know, if you've got the money, honey, I've got the time. Right? Yeah, when it I comes, got the ride. Yeah, yeah that too. Um, you know, to where it comes to filling some of these seats. You, uh, What are we hearing on the 31? Chris Rice has said that uh, they're pretty much done getting somebody for the 31. Do we have any idea who it is? Well, it was supposed to be Austin Hill, uh, Austin Hill but it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, he decided to stay at RCR, and I think he's had the promise of a long-term cup ride there. So, um, you know, I have no idea. I asked, I talked to Justin Haley this, uh, this weekend, and I asked him if they were for sure going to have uh, – two cup cars at colleague next year. He, you know, he basically pleaded ignorance on that, but I think they will. Um, but at this point, I've got no idea who's going in that car. And Lee, been... uh, Lee, last week you reported about this whole thing with Denny Hamlin and 2311. And the fact that some of the leaders at 2311 have talked to Ford, where does that stand right now? Well, Denny said that he expects them to be with Toyota next year. Um, Toyota said they want to get something done. Uh, Steve Laletta, who's president of 2311, said that he wants to get something done. So if the three of them want to get something done, then who might be the one who's pushing to go to Ford? You know, there's another owner in the in the wings there, a really big, tall owner has you know a bunch of championship. <laughs> but anyway, um, where's Mikey shoes? Yeah. Um, so you know, is that where the thrust is coming for? Is he looking for a better deal? Um, you know, from a competition standpoint, I'd rather be a big fish in a small pond, and that small pond being you know Toyota, only because. They're bringing in two teams. They've got the four with Gibbs, and they got Denny, and Denny wants to expand. And Laletta did not back down on saying, you know, we are building this new um, race shop, and I'm sure you've seen it going up and down 77. It's right at 77, and what's the the connector? Uh, 485? Yeah, I don't use Whatever. it. So it's like, but yes. That'll go up the way either. 77 and 485. So, I mean, they have space to expand, and they're looking at doing so, and um, you know, somebody mentions Zane Smith's name. I don't know if that, you know, how, you know, you know, how much that, how much validity there is to that. But, it, you know, this person usually hears a lot of things. So it's just hearsay. But um, throwing it out there is a, you know, perhaps this is someplace because Zane doesn't want to go back to trucks. And he's been offered a ride with Front Row Motorsports, a full time truck ride. And, you know, potentially additional cup races if he wants to stick around. So um, I think he, you know, he's keeping that in his pocket, but still looking for other options.